Hello everyone and welcome to iCritic Live. This is the podcast where we talk about entertainment, pop culture, and life in between. I'm your host, Kevin T. Rodriguez, film critic of iCritic.net. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your time here with me today. And uh, it's uh, been a little while. It's been a little while since we've done one of these podcast episodes. And uh, don't worry, we're, we're not going to wait like weeks and weeks for the next one. Um, in fact, there'll be another episode probably in a couple days. Uh, but today, let's talk about something that is a little current... And it may, it may or may not be coming to our area, who knows. But the Criterion Collection has announced that the, cli- the Criterion Closet is going on the road. They are taking the closet on the road. Now, what is the Criterion Closet? Well, it is a closet, or really a marketing gimmick, where at the Criterion Collection you know, company, wherever that is, they have a closet with like over a thousand of their Blu-rays, DVDs, things like that. And what they normally do is they have celebrities come in and grab a selection of the movies to put in a bag and take home. And of course, there's a little bit of a, you know, comments, I should say, where it's like, oh, really? You're bringing Barry Jenkins and um, Nick Offerman and Jesse Eisenberg and people who don't uh, need to be given free movies, free movies, but keep in mind, it's kind of a promo thing. Uh, the promo does two things. First of all, it, um, it it does show what movies are in the collection, but it also allows other filmmakers and actors and stuff to talk about what movies they love and what films mean to them. I believe Winona Ryder was on there fairly recently because she's in Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and her um, attitude towards movies, she is a true cinephile. She was just speaking so highly of all these movies she was taking off the shelf. I mean, how could you not want to buy a disc after watching a video like that? Well, they are taking that closet and they are creating a mobile closet and uh, it is going to be going on the road. Now, uh, for the time being, there is only one place that the Criterion Closet will be showing up, and that will be 62nd New York Film Festival, Alice Tullany Hall uh, at New York, New York, from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m., September 28th through 29th, as well as October 5th through 6th. Now, they will probably expand this tour, and if they come to the Los Angeles area, I will certainly be making an effort to go and make my own closet pick video. But people have asked, are asking, well, well how's this going to work? Like, do regular people just get to go in and uh, take whatever they want and go home? And uh, the answer is no, that they were never going to do that. However, Criterion uh, did decide to release a blog post explaining how this is going to work. And I have to admit, it, it sounds like a pretty sweet deal, all things considered. So, Here's how it works, Um, and I'm pretty much reading from this site, and I will add my own commentary in as we go through these bullet points. So, the Criterion Closet is stocked with every in-print edition from the Criterion Collection, so anything that's out of print is off the table, including box sets as well as all in-print releases from our Eclipse and Janus contemporary lines. You do not need a reservation to visit the Criterion Mobile Closet. There are no advanced tickets or time slots. Just show up at the site and find your place in line. Up to three people can share a closet visit, so bring your friends. Now, obviously, the no tickets, no reservation thing, that, that's good. It makes it all square and fair. You show up, and you can get into the closet. Now, that being said, I do wonder how many people this can can actually get into there and how long is the line going to be because the Criterion Collection has a lot of hardcore fans. Uh, they're not in the movie capital of the world, but New York City, you know, that's pretty close, so it'll be interesting. Now, as long as supplies last, you'll receive a Criterion tote bag and a printed pocket guide to the Criterion Collection. Now, that would be the main reason I would want to go, especially that pocket guide. I would love to have a little Criterion pocket guide as kind of like a reference for the collection, and the tote bag would be pretty cool as well. But as long as the supplies last, by the way, prediction. I'm not saying anyone at Criterion is incompetent, but I predict that the supply is going to be much lower than the demand. I think they're going to underestimate how much demand there is for this tote and pocket guide. Okay, 
Now you can use the pocket guide to find films you love from the collection. The numbered order of the films in the guide matches the order of the films in the closet so that you can easily find what you're looking for once inside. Now that's, that's interesting because that kind of suggests that inside the closet, they're gonna be in the numbered order, not necessarily alphabetically. So, um, I mean, it, it kind of makes sense. I also think there's a lot of value to having it alphabet, alphabetized because it's truly random, but that's one of the reasons why they're giving you the guide so that you can find the movies. If you don't know what to choose, don't worry. Just tell us about a film or filmmaker you love and we'll help you find something that fits you. Now, some of you might be saying, well, why do they put that in the blog? Well, here's why. Because although we'll have our camera rolling throughout the closet visit, there's absolutely no pressure to perform or talk about your selections. Your experience in the closet is yours to create. Now, that kind of shows what this really is. like Because I think Criterion did hear about the complaints like, oh, you have celebrities coming in but you know they're not like the everyday people who might be buying this and so it's like okay well let's find a way to use the closet to create a promo with everyday people and so that's what this is for now they're making it clear that you don't have to perform you don't even have to buy anything per se um but they are doing this for promotional purposes now what if you want to make your own video well they've got you covered if you would like to film or photo or photograph your visit on your own camera or phone you're welcome to use our wall mount and uh, I'm gonna say right now I will definitely be doing that and I also have my little lapel microphone so that I can walk around the closet and you can hear me just fine thank you very much now continuing each closet visit will last three minutes once the clock starts you'll have that time to explore the collection or talk about your selections don't worry, the Criterion Closet team is there to help you find what you're looking for, and if all you want to do is look around, that's okay too. I suspect most people will be given five to seven minutes. Don't quote me on that, officially it's three minutes, but I, I think they're giving it such a brief time because whenever you give people a time limit, they're gonna inevitably go two or three minutes over that limit, so they're, just, they're really just cutting it short, like okay, basically five minutes is gonna be how much you're there for. And of course, if you're just looking around, they probably will enforce that a little bit more. Now, that being said, if you do wanna make one of these videos or be part of a commercial, um, definitely have something to say in advance. This is where you almost have to write the script in your head before you go into the closet because you do have just a limited amount of time to look in here, so there you go. Now then, no purchase is required but you are able to buy up to three items with our special mobile closet discount of 40% off. I know Barnes & Noble is an extra 10% off, but hey, if I'm gonna be going there, I'm buying something. In honor of our 40th anniversary, a limited amount of Criterion merch may also be available for purchase at the time of your visit. At the end of every closet visit, we take a Polaroid of our visitors with their selections, which will be yours to keep as a souvenir along with the tote bag and guide to the collection while supplies last. Everything is while supplies last. You might be featured on our social feed, so keep an eye out and be sure to follow us on social media, Instagram, X, and Facebook. I, interesting they don't say Blue Sky or Masters. Then I guess uh, they really didn't go anywhere. Or they don't mention threads either now that I think about it. If you post your Criterion Mobile Closet experience on social, don't forget to tag and use the hashtag Criterion Closet. Now, some people have asked, like, um, well, why only three? Now, it's in the FAQ, but we're gonna jump on this one first because I'll get over the FAQ afterwards. Like, why can you only buy three items? And the reason is pretty simple. The reason is because, well, they wanna make sure that there's enough movies for both those trips. And chances are they're gonna be bringing the closet um, oh, you know, around as well. But I personally think that if they did it unlimited, someone would probably go super crazy, buy a bunch of movies. Now, Criterion doesn't care if you do that, obviously, but you know, they want to have stuff available to buy for everyone else. It's not like this is gonna be like the first shipment. There's two separate dates. And if they do move this thing around the country, I bet you they're gonna be restocking the thing all the time. But that's why they're limiting to three items. Now we do get um, to the FAQs. 
are all closet videos filmed in this mobile closet? And the answer is no, the mobile closet is a replica of our original closet, which is located at our offices in Manhattan. Oh, okay, they're in Manhattan. I don't know why they're in Manhattan, but okay. Is the mobile closet the exact same closet as the one at the Criterion office? Um, the Criterion closet in the Criterion office is a few inches narrower and the ceiling is slightly higher, but the contents and arrangements of the two closets are identical. Is this experience free? Um, yes, it's free. We've already gone over that. Um, do I have to be filmed if I want to enter the closet? Um, and the answer is the camera in the closet was always rolling, so you will be filmed. Some of the footage may be included in the Criterion Closet Supercuts or other videos we share through our social and other communications channels. So that's basically, yes, you have to be filmed if you're going to be in this closet. Can I shop the closet? We've already gone over there. Why can I shop for only three items? We already um, discussed this. I don't want the inventory to be depleted too soon. Why is my visit limited to three minutes? Um, well, because they uh, uh, want it to be fun for as many people as possible. That's pretty easy. Do I have to sign the legal waiver? And this we didn't go over. Yes, to enter the mobile closet, you will have to agree to our terms and conditions, which you know, basically means they can use whatever footage and audio they want. Is the tote bag free? Uh, yes, the tote bag, pocket guide, and Polaroid photo are yours to keep. Um, now this is gonna rub some people the wrong way, but I definitely understand this. Is the mobile closet wheelchair accessible? Unfortunately, the Freightliner MT45 steep van itself is not wheelchair accessible. But if you are unable to enter the mobile closet for accessibility reasons, we'll still be happy to welcome you and you'll still get a tote bag and pocket guide. While supplies last, they're really stressing that a mobile closet shopping discount and a Polaroid at the mobile closet with your selection. So basically, if you have a wheelchair, you can't go into the van, um, but you can have them pick the videos that or the discs you would like to buy, and they'll still give you the free supplies. I would not be surprised if some idiot tries to sue them over that. So I don't live in New York. Where can I find the closet next? That's actually what I want to know. Let's see. Our goal is to bring the mobile closet all over the USA. Watch this space, subscribe to our newsletter, and follow us on social media to find out what our next stops will be. So, uh, this last one is kind of dumb, in my opinion. But it's dumb in the sense that I can't believe we're at the point where this is even a question. And I don't know if it's just sad or if it's just the reality of the day and age we live in. I, I just don't know. But the question is, I don't have a DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K disc player. How can I access Criterion Collection films? So, okay, there's two reasons why I don't like this question. One, if you know the Criterion Collection, you are a physical media buyer. Who are you kidding? You like Criterion, you like physical media. But it's also kind of sad, like, it's like, we're not to the point where it's like, people are just like, I don't have a disc player, what do I do? How do I access the Criterion Collection? I mean, you can buy digital copies of these movies on Fandango, on iTunes, it's not, I mean, on the website itself, it'll tell you where to buy them digitally. But, we know why this question is here, to obviously pimp a product. So their answer is, Criterion Collection physical media editions require a disc player. Yeah, I think that's baked into the question, but whatever. The best streaming source for Criterion Collection films and their special features is the Criterion Channel, which also features the best new films, fresh from theaters, and your favorite movie classics and new curated collections every month. I do not believe the Criterion Channel has anything to do with this event. No one who wants to go to this event does not have a, a disc player. The, anyone who's interested in this has physical media. They have... 4K players. They probably have multiple ones in game consoles and things like that. That being said, I don't blame them for wanting to push the Criterion channel because it's an excellent channel. I'm a day one subscriber. I've got my little tin card. I've never unsubscribed. I'm grandfathered into the $90 for the year price. I think it now costs $120 for the year. And that $120 is still a great deal. And actually, currently, if you listen to this podcast within like a week or so of it being published, I think they have like a 20% off sale to get a whole year's. I bet you they're partly using this um, this event to push the streaming service. And, uh, you know, full disclosure, folks, even though I own more than half of these discs, I, there's a lot that I haven't opened because the first thing I do before I open the package is I check 
is this available on Criterion Channel? If it is, I, I keep the package sealed and I just watch it on Criterion Channel. Now that's gonna come to an end when I get a certain YouTube project that is definitely in the works. It's been in the works for a long time, but it's finally coming to fruition. That will probably change and I'll be opening the vast majority of those discs. But for the time being, I use the Criterion channel to watch movies that, yes, I've bought, but maybe I don't want to open them quite yet. So anyway, those are all the details for the Criterion Mobile Closet event. It's going to be in New York first. I would be very surprised if it didn't wind up in California at some point, I, and I will definitely go when it arrives. But here's my question. Do any of you live in New York? Do you plan to go to this thing? If so, what are the three titles you would probably buy? And what would be the titles that you would highlight in your own Criterion Closet uh, video? Um, if you are listening to this podcast on a platform that allows comments, we would love to know. So comment below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. And thank you so much. We will be having more episodes of iCritic Live coming soon because it's, it, it just has been a creep crazy month. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have got to go. I'm spending the day at Universal Studios with my wife. We're celebrating our fifth year anniversary, so love you, honey. Hey, you made it to the end. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Just a few more things. First of all, the names that you see on the screen, these are our Patreon and YouTube member supporters, and I thank each and every one of them. Their support helps me make exclusive videos for Patreon and YouTube members, as well as keep the channel running. And of course, is just a huge kindness to me. Also, don't forget to check out the iCritic Live podcast on Spotify, Apple, Google, Deezer, whatever podcasting service you listen to. It is there. We definitely want to see you there. And hey, there's also other videos that you can check out. So, you know, check out these other channels, these other videos, especially that one. I think that's a really good one. 